Hey, it's Alex with Lover Fighter Writer, and in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to bypass AI content detectors so you can get an 80% to 100% human written content score every time. Now, before I get into how to do this, I want to make my position on AI writing and AI content detection very clear. I personally have no issues with using AI writing tools to write content or write anything else for that matter, but there's a big difference between using an AI writing tool to help with something like brainstorming or initial drafting compared to using an AI tool to write an entire article and then just publishing it as is without doing anything to improve it or make it unique. I previously published an entire video on whether AI writing detectors are bad for freelancers and how they work, and I'll link that in the description in case you want to see that entire video, but the TLDR, too long didn't read from that, is that AI writing detectors are only really bad for freelancers if you have clients who are using the AI detectors to audit your writing. And the reason that AI detectors can be bad if your clients are using them isn't because they might catch you using AI writing, it's because AI content detectors are basically just a marketing ploy that AI companies use to get you to use their tools instead of their competitors. And it's very possible to get a 100% AI written score, even if you wrote the entire thing yourself and typed every single word. And it's very possible to get a 100% human written score, even if you wrote the entire thing with AI. And so I'm gonna show you how to do that today. Although, as I mentioned in my other video, which again, I'll link in the description in case you haven't seen it yet, I personally don't think that you should be disingenuous or misrepresent what you're doing with your clients. So if you have clients that are fine with you using AI tools to produce better content faster, then that's great. And if you have clients who want you to write everything yourself, then you should either do that or move on to other clients. Because for every client who wants you to type every single word by hand, there are dozens of clients who just want great content on a regular basis. And when you have good editing skills and you have the ability to quickly upgrade an AI draft, you can produce articles that are just as good as one that you would type yourself or even better with much less typing and much less time committed. And I have lots of videos on my channel about exactly how to do that. So if you're looking to use AI writers to start or improve your writing career, make sure to subscribe to the channel and check out some of my other videos on those topics. Now, as I mentioned earlier, there is really no evidence to suggest that AI written content is bad for SEO or for any other types of marketing. I've never seen any evidence that Google or other search engines or any marketing platforms punish AI written content unless it's really badly written or really obviously drafted by an AI. And this is why I say that there's a huge difference between using AI to help you write something and using AI to 100% write something on its own and then just publishing it as is. And some platforms are starting to have rules against using 100% AI written content like the blogging platform medium.com. I just got an email from them announcing their new AI policy, which is basically that you can use AI tools to help you, but you can't just generate an entire AI article and publish it. And that rule makes a lot of sense because medium is a very big publishing platform and their readers go there because they're looking for content that is written by humans who have real perspectives. And if you're just generating entire articles with AI and publishing them without changing them, one person could easily be publishing 10, 20, 30 articles a day, basically just spamming the platform, using up a whole lot of their bandwidth, and distracting a lot of their readers from the articles that they actually want to read. So that makes a lot of sense. But again, even within the confines of that policy, they're not saying you can't use AI tools. They're basically just saying you can't use AI to abuse their platform, which is totally fair. All right, with that said, let's get on to the technique. So this is basically for anyone who has a client that is using an AI detection software to audit your writing and then telling you that you need to change it if it doesn't pass. And as I explained in my other video, I think this is ridiculous. I think that most of the people who are auditing writing with, with AI detection tools and are telling writers that they need to redo it if it says, you know, too high a percentage of AI writing, I think most of the people that are doing that are middle management types and unskilled writers and editors who have managed to secure a position and they're just trying to make themselves seem more valuable than they are. And so if you submit an article and they run it through an AI detector and it says 60% human written and they say that's not good enough, it needs to be at least 80% human written, it's kind of pointless for you to really stress yourself out over that and try and do it all manually because they don't actually care at that point 
whether it's human written or not. They just want it to pass the score. And so I'm going to demonstrate three ways that you can quickly improve your human writing score. There are tons of AI detectors out there. I just chose one at random that we're going to be working with. And I'm going to show how to use two different tools, which are Phrase and Quillbot to automatically rewrite. And I'm also going to show how you can quickly adjust your writing manually without using a tool so that it gets a higher human written score. All right, so this is the Quillbot page. As you can see, they have a free plan and a premium plan. The premium plan is very inexpensive and Quillbot is a great tool. It's probably the best paraphraser and it has a number of other features as well. As you can see, summarizer, plagiarism checker, I don't use it that much myself because I just don't really need it. However, I have heard a lot of people who speak English as a second language say that it's very helpful for them because it helps them make their writing sound more natural, sound more like they're a native English speaker. And I know it's also very useful for people who just aren't really into writing, who want to be able to just kind of jot their ideas down and then use a tool to make it sound better. Quillbot is really good for that. And then the other tool is Phrase, which has a free trial. I think it's 14 days. And then it's a premium tool from there. And Phrase is mostly an SEO research and content writing software, but it does have an article rewriter tool, which is what I'm going to be demonstrating today. And we're actually going to be using text that I wrote using Phrase, which uses GPT 3.5, which is the most popular large language model or AI writing software. And now I'm going to demonstrate exactly how you can use Quillbot or Phrase or just your own typing in order to quickly modify a passage so that it scores a higher human written percentage. And we'll start with Phrase. And this is just a simple two paragraph passage that I copied from a blog that I was writing. And so you just see I hit the rewrite button at the bottom and it's going to quickly generate these two paragraphs. And so I'm just going to grab them down at the bottom, click on that copy button and then come over to this tab, which as you can see, I pasted the original and it got a 68% human generated score. So let's say maybe I'm working for a client who wants at least 70 or 75 and the phrase text has already gotten me an 83%. So you can see just by putting those paragraphs into phrases rewriter, I was able to get over 80%. Now we'll take a look at Quillbot. You can see I pasted the same two paragraphs in there, which were originally written in phrase by the AI. And I can't use these customized versions right here, like simple, uh, because I'm not on the premium plan. But if you are on the premium plan, you'd be able to do that. But I can use the standard paraphrase tool. So it's just going to paraphrase that for me. And you can see it kind of highlights the changes that it made, which is pretty handy because this way you can easily skim it and see if there's any particular things about the changes that you like or don't like. And then I'm going to grab the full text down at the bottom of that box and come back to the AI content detector. And so remember the original was I think 68 and phrase got me 83 and now we'll see what Quillbot gets me and it got me 100%. So there you go. It only took a couple tries to turn a completely AI written passage with a 68% human score up to a 100% human score. And if you actually look at the difference between the two passages, you can see that the rewritten version uses a much better vocabulary. Now I'm just going to grab the original text and bring it back here so that we can take another look at it and make sure that it's still scoring the original score, which was 68%. There it is. And now I'll show a quick version of how you can rewrite it yourself a little bit. So one of the things that AI tools do that make them inferior to good human writers is they tend to be a little bit repetitive. And so you can see this starts off with a printable planner is a physical document that can be printed out. And that's pretty redundant. I guess you could say that it's sort of a different thing, but it basically just seems like you're saying it's printable twice in a row. And so I'm going to change this to that is designed to be printed and used as a traditional worksheet. And we'll say unlike digital planners, which are only usable Spell that right. Actually, I'm going to say which are only for electronic use. Printable planners offer a customizable option for organizing tasks and schedules. So I think I'm going to take out tasks here. Just say organizing your schedules. Personalize it and make it a little bit more simple and straightforward. 
then in the second paragraph. I think I'll change physically to manually, which is, like I mentioned above, just kind of a better vocabulary word. It's less generic and more specific to this context. And I think I'm going to simplify this place again, kind of turn it into less of a list and more of a clear prescription. And we'll just clean that up a little bit. And add that some people find that more engaging because again, this is making it more human, more uh, of a written from a perspective of someone who understands what it's like to write something manually versus a computer that of course has never done that. And we'll just end it with physical planners, make it easy to add notes and highlight important dates or tasks. And we'll analyze this and that got an 89. So you can see that improved it over 20%, even though all I had to do was simplify a few things and change maybe four or five words. Now let's do one more example. I'll just grab another short passage from another article of mine. This one is about MLMs versus affiliate marketing. And so we'll bring this over here and paste it into the tool and analyze it. And it's got a 72% score. So it's better than the other one was originally. But if you have a client that wants 80% or 90% or something like that, it still wouldn't be quite high enough. So we'll put it in Quillbot here and hit paraphrase and it's already written up the replacement text. And I'll copy that and bring it back to the detector. So we've got 72% and we'll analyze that. And now it's up to 96%. So again, even if they want 90, 95%, Quillbot is gonna get the job done. And now we'll head back to phrase and put that text in here and ask it to rewrite again. And there it is. So I'll just copy that and come back to the AI detector. Oops, that's the wrong page. Okay, so here we go. So Quillbot got 96. And oh, so this one is a little bit too short. Um, so I guess I will just add a quick something on the end here. We'll say, um, which is often a percentage of the payment or uh, the attributed purchase. That sounds good. So that's pretty standard explanation. And this one got 84%. So that's still uh, significantly better than what the original score was. And we'll just grab the original again, bring it back here and paste it in. So remember this was 72%. So that was a 12% increase. And so you can see how uh, Quillbot's a little bit better for rewriting, but Phrase does a good job as well. And it really just depends on which tool suits your specific needs. All right, that was how to bypass AI detectors using three different methods. Please do subscribe to the channel and leave a like or comment on this video if you found it really helpful. I've got tons of marketing and AI writing tutorials on this channel, and I'm going to be posting more every week. And if you want to try out Phrase or Quillbot, I've got affiliate links for both of them in the description. So I'd really appreciate it if you use those if you want to sign up for an account. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.